Alrighty, so this is going to be a reading for my Taurus. Thank you so much for joining me here on my YouTube channel. This is going to be a what you're not expecting to happen forecast Ooh. for July 1st. I mean, not July 1st, excuse me, July 5th through the 15th. Um, we're going to get straight into it. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Crystal. This is Mystical Crystal Tarot. We get into tarot readings and things of that nature. So if you are interested in seeing more of my readings, please make sure you hit the subscribe button and also the like button, okay? Um, also, if you do want a personal reading with me, make sure you check out my description box and also use the code 70k club at checkout um it's going to be all caps one word and that's going to get you 50 percent off um you guys know whenever we hit a milestone on the channel we like to you know basically give out discounts or the 50 percent off for a week times frame so take advantage of that if you're interested like i said my website will be linked below and let's get into the reading <laughs> Okay, I had to sneeze. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and get into it. So Taurus, what you're not expecting to happen. Um, so right off the bat, I really do get a sense that for a lot of you, this time frame is really going to be about you getting more comfortable with self. Um, a lot of times we aren't comfortable with certain aspects of ourselves. Um, you know, we... I think everybody has that one thing that they, you know, really don't like or would change, not even not like, but would change about ourselves, whether that's like a character flaw, a physical flaw, whatever it may be. But um, this is getting more like in tune with self and, and getting closer to understanding what your strong suits are um, and how you can kind of use that to your benefit to kind of progress in life. Um, for a lot of my tours, I do see you guys taking some time also for your own, you know, pleasure. And when I say that, this is like having fun with family or having fun with the people who you love or even with yourself. Um, where you kind of take a break from being so engulfed in social media as much. Um, unless you work from social media, then it is what it is. But um, I really do see that this is going to be the time frame where some of you are going to be, you know, taking the Epsom salt baths and, you know, relaxing and drinking tea and just really centering with self. Okay. Um, for a lot of you as well, this is like kind of getting in tune with who your true soul tribe is. Sometimes we just have people around us and we don't even understand why we have them around us, okay? These could be people who are detrimental to our growth and we don't even see it, okay? Sometimes we literally have people around us who we can't see how they're kind of affecting our growth and how we move forward. Um, for a lot of my Taurus as well, you're really going to be triggered to take some sort of risk in regards to your career, your love life, some of you even forgiving like a family member here. Some of you, this is like you traveling or you finally moving. You've been wanting to do that for some time, but this energy of you being kind of scared or something kind of keeping you in your environment may have been stopping you from doing what you need to do. Um, I definitely feel like also with you taking risks, a lot of you are going to realize that you can really excel at anything you put your mind to. And I'm not going to go through that whole spiel, you guys. Um, that's why I need to create a whole other channel to talk about certain topics. But when it comes to mindset, we, we as people, we don't understand that mindset is hand in hand in a lot of the stuff that we do in life. If you're not in the right mental space, then most likely your life looks kind of crazy, right? Because it all starts from the mind. What festers in the mind starts to grow in the physical, okay? Look, these are quotables I'm giving you guys right now. But seriously, um, if your mindset is in a place of negativity, you don't see yourself ever accomplishing things, you'll never take action and make it a reality. Um, so for a lot of you, there's going to be a shift in mindset, especially if it has, you know, kind of shifted to a more darker place at times. Okay. 
Um, yeah, I really do feel like there's going to be a lot of inner peace that's going to come in after really going through a period of having things kind of being haywire, um, things being all over the place. There's going to be a sense of like freedom and transformation that's going to come through any sort of chaos that may be present at this moment or was present at any point. Yeah, there's also going to be a lot of forward movement with the going forward card here. Hold on. We have going forward and we also have action. So yeah, definitely some forward movement in regards to you actually going through with some plans here. A lot of you are just going to be realizing what's in front of you as far as your path is concerned. Some of you have just been really confused about that. And that's why there may have been delays for some time. Um, yeah, and I really do feel like there's going to be some really positive shifts for you guys. I really like these readings for this time period. Okay, let's, co let's continue. Oh, we have success. So if you're somebody who's like a business owner, I definitely see that you are going to see things still manifesting for you financially. Um, I see success also in you guys being able to realize what battles are worth fighting and what battles aren't. Um, a lot of times we get in situations that are way above us, okay? It's above you now at this point. And for a lot of you, you're really going to be at, like I said, successful at realizing what's not worth your energy anymore, what you need to take a step back from, um, especially if you have some you have been someone who's been always dedicated to making something work as far as like a relationship is concerned even if it has been toxic to like i said your own growth okay yeah a lot of realizations are going to come in where you do need to also take your power back um some of you man you've been giving your power away to the person who you're dating okay that person may have more power over you in regards to your actions and, you know, what you decide to do. And it's not healthy. Some of you just been kind of, you know, not assuming responsibility or understanding the power that you have over your own circumstance. What I will say is, um, for some of you also, if you are kind of in this energy of where you're having nostalgia about things you can't change, understand that with past situations that haven't worked out, um, relationships, jobs, whatever, there's a reason for why it didn't work out. It's either A, it wasn't in alignment with you and spirit was trying to take you away from being in that experience of what's out of alignment, or... There was a need for you to gain wisdom from that experience so that you can actually head towards your true path and have a new perspective from your experiences and know exactly how to basically handle the situation um, when you do get into your, you know, set career or, you know, set relationship. Good example. A lot of the relationships we get into, they're stepping stones for who we're really supposed to be with. 95% of the relationships we get into are not going to be the person you're going to marry. Okay. Um, so that makes them just an experience, a lesson that you had to basically stumble upon so that you can be a better version of yourself or someone else. Same thing with the job. Every job that you have is not going to be your permanent job. You're not going to work at a job every job for 30 years no you're going to stumble a little bit in your career and gain that wisdom from what works for you and what doesn't what career you want to work in what doesn't work for you and move forward so that's how you should look at every experience in life not as a letdown but as a stepping stone for greatness okay so that's what i see Thank you so much, Taurus, for watching this. I hope that you enjoyed. If you did, please make sure you thumbs up this video and subscribe. Um, if you do want a personal reading, again, use 50, no, use 70K Club at checkout to get 50% off on my website. Um, my link will be listed below. Thank you so much for your support. If you aren't subscribed, subscribe, like this video, and I will see 
each and every one of my tours in the next one. Bye guys!